let's solve the following linear inequality so here we will begin by rewriting our given linear inequality as absolute value of 2x minus 1 divided by absolute value of x minus 1 so this is greater than 2. now we know that x absolute value of x minus 1 this is always a positive number and we are going to use a fact that means if a is greater than b and we have a number c which is also greater than zero that means a positive number then a times b c and b times c when we do that then ac is still going to be greater than b c that means the sign of the inequality does not fit so what we'll do we'll multiply both sides with absolute value of x minus one so that's going to give us absolute value of 2x minus 1 is greater than 2 times absolute value of x minus 1. Now what we'll do, we'll transpose uh, the term on the right hand side to the left hand side to get absolute value of 2x minus 1 minus 2 times absolute value of x minus 1. So this value is going to be greater than 0. So let's label this as inequality number 1. Now what we'll do, we will find out some critical values. To find out the critical values, all we have to do is we'll consider the expression 2x minus 1 and equate it to 0. And we'll also consider x minus 1 and equate it to 0. So these are going to give us the critical values. We have x equals to half and x equals to 1. Now using this critical value, what we'll do, we'll consider our real number line which contains all the values of x. And on this number line, we will consider x to be equals to half and x equals to 1. So these are the two points that we'll consider. Immediately, this divides the number line into three regions. We have region number one, region number two, and region number three. What we'll do, we'll study the behavior of this particular inequation in each of the three regions. So in region number one, this will be our first case. So region number one corresponds to all values of x lying between negative infinity and half. Then coming to region number two, the region number two will will consider all the values of x lying between half and one and in region number three we'll consider all the values of x which is greater than one so let's study the behavior of inequality number one in each of the three cases so in region number one we have x lying between negative infinity and positive half so here the absolute value of 2x minus 1 will be simply equals to negative of 2x minus 1 so that's equals to 1 minus 2x and absolute value of x minus 1 that was also going to be equals to negative of x minus 1 which will be equals to 1 minus x now we'll use this value to rewrite our inequality so we have 1 minus 2x minus 2 multiplied to 1 minus x so this is greater than 0 the us 1 minus 2x minus 2 plus 2x greater than 0 so we have negative 2x and positive 2x cancelling out and we have negative 1 greater than 0 now this is not possible negative 1 cannot be greater than 0 so here case number 1 does not give us any solution now let's move on to the second region or case number 2 now in the second case or region 2 we have x lying between half and 1 so that means x lying between half and 1 would simply mean that absolute value of 2x minus 1 so that's going to be equals to 2x minus 1 and absolute value of x minus 1 so that will be equals to negative of x minus 1 which is equals to 1 minus x right now we can rewrite our inequality as 2x minus 1 minus 2 times of 1 minus x and this is going to be greater than 0 which gives us 2x minus 1 minus 2 plus 2x greater than 0. So 2x plus 2x is 4x, so we have 4x greater than 3, and x will be greater than 3 over 4. Now, on the number line, so here we have half, we'll consider 3 by 4 as well, and 1. So case number 2, we started off with the condition that x must lie between half and one so the year the endpoints are not included so i'm using a bubble and we are getting that x is greater than three over four so x is greater than three over four means it's going to lie to the right of three over four so here we can see that this is the common region that this is going to satisfy both x greater than three over four and a condition that x is aligned between half and one that means the solution will be x belonging to the interval three over four to one or you can say x lies between three over four and 1.
Now coming to the second, third case. In the third case, we have x greater than 1. So let's begin. So here we have absolute value of 2x minus 1 equals to positive 2x minus 1. And absolute value of x minus 1 equals to x minus 1. Now we can rewrite our inequality as 2x minus 1 minus 2 times x minus 1 greater than 0. Which gives us 2x minus 1 minus 2x plus 2 greater than 0. So here negative 2x and positive 2x goes away. Negative 1 plus 2 is 1. 1 is greater than 0. We always know that 1 is greater than 0. That's a true statement. So that means uh, case number 3, we get x is greater than 1. Or we can write it in the interval form as x belongs to 1 to infinity. So that means in region case number 1, we obtained case number 1 gave us no solution. Case number 2 gave us the solution that x lies between 3 over 4 and 1 and case number 3 gave us x greater than 1. So if we combine all the three cases, our final solution will be x belongs to the interval 3 over 4 to 1 union 1 to infinity. So this is the solution to the given linear inequality.